The toolbar we'll be customizing is this bar right here, right below the timeline ruler as well as the play controls. By default, these are commonly used nodes in Fusion, but depending on what you're currently working on, a lot of these nodes won't be applicable to the current project. We have the ability to customize one of these bars and have it contain all of the nodes in which we would typically use. If I come over here and I right click, I can go to motion graphics. This is a custom bar that I made for myself for when I, any time that I'm working in motion graphics. And now I can easily go in and let's say I was working on shapes, I can add, easily add a whole bunch of shape nodes as well as a transform just like that. And I can quickly add in whatever motion graphics that I would need. So let's go in and customize one of these bars. I'm gonna go back to the default and when we go to create a bar, it's just going to clone the current bar that's there. So if I right click and I go to customize and we'll go to custom toolbar. And for now, I'm just going to make a 3D bar. I'll just call it 3D. And we didn't see anything change, but if I right click in here, we can see that the 3D is currently active. So now we would have to go in and remove all of these. If we take a look, we can see these little lines here. Those are just dividers. When we have dividers in place, then everything between the dividers becomes a group. And the reason why I say that is because if I go into any of these, so let's go to these particles here, I right click in here and I go to customize, I can go remove group and it'll remove everything between the dividers. So let's go in and remove all of these. And now that I have everything removed, I can start to add in whatever nodes that I want. So you can add in nodes a couple of different ways. If we have nodes down here, so let's get a uh, 3D light and we will pick the point light. I can drag it up into the bar and it'll automatically add it in there. We can also go up to the effects and come into tools and let's go into 3D and grab the rest of the lights. Now that I have all my lights here, next we could add in a divider. If we come over here and click customize, add divider, we won't actually see the divider. We need to come to the last node that we have here, right click, customize, add divider. Now we have a divider. Next, let's add in some material nodes that we would typically use. So I'll come up here, add in my material nodes. Let's say those were all of my material nodes that I wanted to add in. We can next click here, customize, add divider, and we can go on to textures. And just like that, we can easily create custom toolbars that work for whatever the project is that we're currently working on. If we wanna jump back and forth between different toolbars, we can easily just come up here and switch between the different toolbars. One thing that I do wanna note is, by default, you'll see that the default one uh, has this uh, lock on here. If we go, let's, back, let's go back to our 3D. If we wanna lock this so that we can't accidentally switch the positions of these or accidentally delete nodes, we can simply just right click, lock, and now we can't switch them. But we can click on them to easily add in all of the different nodes just like that. So this is one of many ways to customize the user interface within Fusion to kind of work with our workflow a little bit better. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you wanna know more about DaVinci Resolve, I have a website with a ton of different courses as well as free titles. Take a look at those on the website as well. If you want some pre-made assets, I have those on the website as well you can take a look at. But I am out of here. Thanks so much for watching. Till the next one, guys. Peace.